1,700 sheep on their way to their winter pasture. No easy job for the sheepdogs. But they're lying in the grass, paying no attention to their master. Way enough. Ah, Woody. Woody. Woody, huh? I don't know. Shaka. The shepherd says they're too tired from driving away wolves at night. The flock spent the summer in the mountains. Now, as every year, when tens of thousands of sheep are on the move, the wolves come. Timo Popyashvili from the Nakres Conservation Organization wants to set up corridors in which their attacks are tolerated. The shepherds call him the wolf man. They complain that their flocks have less room, with more and more roads and fences, and can't believe they should now show consideration for wolves, keeping their dogs back and not shooting them. I don't know what they think of me. I hope they understand that our organization is trying to support them. But sometimes when we talk about predators and their being part of Georgia's ecosystem, there are differences of opinion. There are many endangered species in Georgia, wildcats, golden jackals, Eurasian lynx, light-colored Syrian brown bears, and Eurasian wolves. The flocks move across the countryside twice a year, in spring and in autumn. It's been like that for centuries. The sheep spend the winter in the southeast of the country, in Vashlovani National Park. Timo Papiashvili's main area of operations. This place is very important to me. I love Vashlovani, especially because of its spectacular views. And the wildlife here makes the park unique. It's the largest and best protected area in southeastern Georgia. But there are still poachers. Many bears used to live in these ravines. Now just 20 remain. Sometimes they come up and kill a sheep. If that happens, the sheep farmer loses about 100 euros. Nakrez can't compensate him for his loss, but killing a bear would be an irretrievable loss for Georgia's ecosystem.